So welcome to another JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at event handlers. And what event handlers are is they basically allow us to make our programs more interactive. So what we can do is we can uh, make it so when we press a button it will do something or if we hover over a button it will do something. Like right now it's just running our JavaScript code as soon as the page is loaded. And that's called the onload uh, event. Now we're going to be looking at things like the on click event, the on mouse over event uh, and probably a couple of others. Uh, I've put a list of them all on the screen right now of all the different events. So we don't. you might be wondering why we don't have our script tags here. And that's because we're not going to need them for now. We're going to do this directly in HTML for our first example. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a button. You may need to, a little bit of HTML knowledge, but you should be all right if you don't have any. Although if you want to learn HTML, then I'll put the link, I'll put an annotation up for it. I do have a series on it, so you might find it useful. It's not really essential for this because we only use basic HTML. So what we need to do is create a button tag and then close it. And then here we're going to just do click me, just like that. And then in this button tag, we're going to add an attribute called on click. And that is our event. On click is the event that happens when you click on the button. That's why it's called on click. Since this is run, this code will be run when you click on it. So we're going to do equals. And in here, we're going to put the code that is actually run when you click on the button. So for this, what we're going to do is alert, and this this is JavaScript, and you need your semicolon in here as well. Even though it's not actually the end of the physical line, it's still the end of this JavaScript line. Now alert, and we're going to go hello world. You're probably thinking we're twenty, we're on the twentieth tutorial, and we're still doing hello world. Yes, we are. Right. Now you can see that we've got this syntax error here, which uh, this is going black. So it's basically showing that this is now no longer part of the JavaScript because the JavaScript you can see is supposed to be purple. Now that is because uh, the browser and Notepad++ will get confused about this and think that this is your code finished and it has no idea what this is. And then suddenly you start another set of uh, double quotes and you never finish it. So JavaScript allows us to use two types of quotes. We can use these ones uh, which is the double quotes and we can also use these ones, which are the single quotes. And HTML doesn't understand these single quotes, so we can use those to kind of bypass this issue. This issue. So we can put a single quote here, and a single quote here, and JavaScript will recognize that, but HTML won't. So you can see all of our formatting, our syntax is much better now. So now if I save this and run it, and we press click me, and you see the button is, is uh, the pop-up box comes up. Notice how when we refresh this, it's not popping up that box because this is only happening when we uh, launch this event. Before, this would have happened on the on load event and that's why when you refresh, you would have got the pop-up box straight away, which is not what we want. So there's a couple of other ones we can use. We can use on mouse over. We can save that and launch it in Chrome. You can click me. Oh, I didn't even need to click that. I mean, Made a mistake. If I refresh that and I hover over it, I didn't click, you can hear me clicking. And you see, it's just going straight over. I can go straight over and it does it. I'm not gonna show you how to use all the different events. I'll put a list of them, you can try them all out. You're basically just replacing this with the event like with the event name. So now I'm gonna show you something else how you can use this. Uh, what we can do up here is we can create a script tag. And I'm going to script type equals text slash uh, almost with CSS but JavaScript and then close off the script and then what we're going to do in here is we're going to create a function so we're going to go function not function function and we'll call it button press put your brackets and your curly brackets and here we're just going to do alert and as the text we'll just go hi like that and we'll, we'll, we'll duplicate this as well and go um, higher so we're going to be doing two pop-up boxes here and then here since this is just JavaScript we could simply go button press put your brackets and your semicolon so this is basically just going to, when this is moused over, when you hover over it, we're going to 
I launched this JavaScript code which is telling us to launch this function. So we're going to go over here, here's the function, and we're going to do this code. So I just zoomed out. We're going to run in Chrome. Oh. And we hover over it and it comes up saying hi, higher. So we hover over it and it comes up those two boxes. So we can also do here on click, obviously, just like that. And you know, when we click on it, we get the two boxes. One more thing that we can do is we can also put more than one thing in here. So we could, in JavaScript, we might put all these separate lines. So you put this here, then we put the semicolon, then we go on to another line. Although this will still work if we have it all on one line. So we can use that to our advantage. We can go button press, put the semicolon, and then we'll also go alert, um, hello. Just like that, and don't forget your semicolon, and don't forget to use single quotes as well. So now if we save that, and run it in Chrome, and press the button, we get higher, higher, and we get hello. So the higher and the higher are coming from here, and then the hello is coming from here. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, in the future, I'll do another video on events, like more advanced ways of using it probably. Uh, but for now, that is the tutorial. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.